All right, hey, we're back with some more My Chemical Romance. Thank you for checking out Music with Todd Ledbetter. And we're going to do another uh, song from My Chemical Romance. <clears throat> and we're going to do another song from my son's band. He played drums in and sang harmonies when he was in high school. And they released an album in 2011. Uh, and I'm kind of like thinking, and in and, and the last My Chemical Romance that I just did, I just didn't really didn't really connect with me so I'm gonna do another one I'm gonna try again and but I but I'm saying that my son's band is better uh, back then and he was just a kid you know of course these guys were just kids too back in the day uh, and uh, of course they didn't get as much they didn't get any attention you know uh, and they didn't have any record deals or anything like that um, but they were certainly talented. So let's check out um, some My Chemical Romance, and then I'll go over to Bandcamp on my son's The Good Age, is the name of his band, The Good Age, and we'll we'll pick out a song, just a random song, uh, and we'll just compare it to to this. Now we're gonna play a song off of I bought you my I brought you my bullets and you brought me your love. Uh, this was 2002, 11 songs, 40 minutes, 57 seconds. And we're going to play the song Early Sunset Over Moranoville. So that's where we're at. Um, this was a request from a viewer. And the viewer really loves it, loves the span. And I totally get it. You know, like I said in the, the last one, you know, music touches you at certain times of your life that really, and it really means something to you. So I can totally appreciate that. So I'm sure this is a fine song. We're going to listen to it. And, uh, and then we're just going to play one of my son's songs, too, and just, just do a little competition. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really a competition. It's a comparison.
does anyone notice there's a corpse in this bed? Okay. Um, you know, songs like that, they, they, you know, like I said, they just reach people at a certain time and they touch people in a certain way. Like I've never heard that song before. Okay. And I really don't even know what my chemical romance sound is really like so far. I've heard two songs. Um, and I just was, I thought, I thought, well, I'm just going to compare to, you know, my son's band because it's kind of in the same sort of vein as far as styles of music. And frankly, that song reminds me of one of their songs um, off their Apologies in Advance um, album. It's The band's called The Good Age, and you can find it on Bandcamp. And this song is called Eli's Lullaby. And let me know if you if you hear uh, any kind of similarities in like the guitar style. But um, I can't... Uh, it's, I can't quite remember the song off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure this is the right one. That's Vermont, that song that we just heard from My Chemical Romance sounds similar to this one, although this one was written nine years, uh, or recorded nine years after that one was. But um, let's just compare the two. Here we go. So this is The Good Age, Apologies, apologies in Advance off of Bandcamp. Uh, this song's called Eli's Lullaby. When your friends become your enemies, who do you keep close? I'm losing my mind and it's hard getting to know If I'm on the right track or lost in the snow Cause I'm falling asleep with just one eye closed And I can't believe that I've made it this far With my body intact and a still beating heart There's holes in my shoes and it just hurts to walk I'm searching for answers but it's just a shot in the dark
Okay, so it's not my intention to compare. I mean, I didn't I didn't start off playing My Chemical Romance to compare that uh, My Chemical Romance with my son's band, The Good Age. Uh, my son plays the drums and sings the har uh, backup harmonies in that band. Uh, it did anyways. This was when he was 17, 18 years old, a senior in high school. And um, I think three of them were seniors in high school and, and two were just graduated the year before Alec. Um, I'm trying to remember which ones. Um, I think the guitar player and the bass player were a year older than Alec and the rest of them were out my son's age. Alec is my son's name. But anyways, so I just heard some similarities uh, in the style of music, you know, and I just thought that my son's band was better than, than my Chemical Romance from what I'm listening to here on this album. Uh, now, they could have other albums that sound great and have different sounds and stuff like that. Um, and so I don't know, just I just it was kind of a spur of the moment thing. I did it in the first when it came to me when I did the first My Chemical Romance. So then I thought, well, there was two requests for My Chemical Romance and I wanted to honor those because I really like the person that's requesting these. And they've been uh, really giving me some great music and it's been a lot of fun. And um, they're they're engaging in the platform here and on my channel. And I appreciate that. Um, but just my experience listening to it didn't really like i said hit me up really hard the my chemical romance but, but it reminded me of my son's band okay now i've repeated that many times i don't know if i'm trying to make excuses trying not to make uh the person that requested the song mad or angry but i think it's kind of a fun thing to do anyways you know hey let's check this out and you know it's it's weird how some people make it and then and other people that seemingly are just as talented just don't you know it's like there's i don't have I wish I knew how that is like really a thing, you know, but, you know, like, um, you know, these days, though, because you can record your music on at home uh, and have really high quality recordings, um, you know, and you have things like Bandcamp to post your music to and, and uh, even Spotify. Um, even I have an album on Spotify and uh you know, and, and different, and what is the other one? SoundCloud and things like that, you know, so more music gets out there. There's even bands that have been requested to me from you, the viewer that they have discovered from like Bandcamp, And I thought were great bands, great bands. So, you know, the music is out there. It's not just the ones that are, uh, you know, selling out stadiums and, and selling lots of records and things like that. Music is everywhere, you know, and you just have to keep your eyes open and your ears open and, and find it. And it's hard to find it sometimes. That's what's so great about doing something like this, where you guys, the masses out there are giving me some great, great music. So I don't know. I hope you enjoyed the comparison. Uh, uh, all I'm, I'm talking to all of you, but uh, specifically to the person that uh, requested it. I hope you like my son's band songs too. I totally understand that you, you like and you dig My Chemical Romance. There's so many so bands that I feel the same way about that other people just shake their head at me and go, I don't get you at all, you know, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, anyway, so thanks everybody. I appreciate you hanging out with me and sort of playing along, you know, something a little different, I guess. Um, let me know what you thought in the uh, comments if you made it through the whole thing and uh, make sure you guys like this video and share it if you would to your social media whatever that really helps a lot liking and sharing really helps and then uh, be great if you subscribe to the channel I would love for you to be a subscriber and to participate uh, on a practically daily basis uh, here I'm uploading videos so um, we'll uh, see you guys soon huh all right. Hope you like that. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.